Hey Cancer, welcome into your reading. This is Sage Sunshine Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here, taking a look at some general messages for you. Remember that they are general messages, so all the messages may not apply to all of you, so take what applies and the rest let it fly. And now we're going to get started. Remember, focus your intentions here and let me get messages out for you. Welcome in. It is what you focus on that manifests. And you have the power to create your own reality. Whatever it is that you want, you can become, you can focus upon to stream into your world. There's a lot of focus on sadness, betrayal and heartache. Focusing on wanting to escape. It's as if what you're focusing on is moving away from what you're calling as heartache, sorrow, endings, sadness, depression. So your manifestations or what you, you're pulling is to move away from. You see what I'm saying? So in essence, you are still focusing up on all of the heartbreak, the depression, the sadness, the endings, the loss. You're, it's surrounding you because it's what you're trying to escape from. So it keeps surrounding your energy. It keeps, it's as if you keep recreating these things. You want to be free. You know where you want to be. You want freedom. You love to release all of these things. But it is because you're running away from them, which is your fear that they are chasing you you're basing your manifestation upon moving moving away from what you don't want if i feel if you focus more or i hear value more invest more time in invest more in the world in which you want to create for yourself without doubts because the doubts come from what you are currently creating the Three of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords. You are manifesting these things or re-manifesting them. There is potential for wealth, well-being, health, vibrancy. That's what you want to move into. But you think you're, you're, you have to pull this wealth and well-being out of this struggle. So you're still focusing upon the struggle of your life. This is what you want to become. This is where what is in your heart space. The queen of pentacles energy. This ultimate well-being. But it's as if you're saying that's a separate part of you that's left for later after you come up out of the, the swords energy. When it is already manifested. Do you see that? It is already here but you're not giving it your focus. You're telling yourself that Something else has to be done before you can be or before you, you can really become one with this wealth vibration as the Queen of Pentacles. As the Queen of Wands, you are powerfully re-manifesting these things in your life because of what you're for. So for example, if you decide to switch your focus and you start saying or you start dreaming, hoping, thinking of about happy things, whatever makes you happy, the life ahead of you that's going to make you happy, that's where you want to be. So don't focus on the nine of swords energy, focus on the nine of pentacles, that's mirroring energy right here. Oh yes, and don't focus on what you don't have, focus on what you do have. It is where you invest your attention. All right, we have the four and the seven here. This is 11. This is mirror energy. You're creating out of your emotions what you're feeling. And what you're feeling is reflected in your environment. So if you're consistently feeling nine of swords energy, which is you're not sleeping, you're not feeling good mentally, you are sad or depressed or you feel trapped and stuck, then you're in ten of swords energy where you feel down and out, but you know there's hope. You know that, right? Yes. You can if you keep feeling these feelings, 
seven of cups energy and re-manifesting them re-experiencing them that's what's going to happen the four of wands is telling me that this is you have an, an opportunity every day to create the dream your the life of your dream like i feel this is a brand new garden a fresh garden that has just been plowed every day you have the opportunity to plant new seeds for the garden you want ahead of you instead of the garden you're saying you don't have or the garden you're currently in that you're saying is not fruitful enough or prosperous enough oh i'm so prosperous i need listen keep focusing on making your the garden you want in your future grow every day you feel this energy i'm getting of waking up very early being outside in the dewy damp soil and nurturing the earth planting seeds and being content in that space of feeling happy in your future energy you get what i'm saying to you plant the seeds that you know in your future are going to grow and make you happy you know why you're doing it now and your thoughts uh, with the eight of wands energy are very important the eight of wands is also telling me your thoughts are super important your thoughts light up and manifest quickly so i feel if you plant a seed with your with your true intention set for what you want in your future without thinking of running away from the past it will flourish it will manifest every day life is like a new fertile garden to plant seeds of hope and seeds of hope in of future dreams where you want to be the happy life you want to live and i feel like every step and every action you take is a seed planted every word you speak every feeling in your body is a seed planted or or an act of nourishing your vision for your future instead of dwelling in the past let's get one other message let's see what happens in your spirit guides For some of you, your garden needs tilling, okay? You need to. That soil is hard, okay? So if you're not manifesting, it's because you're still in sword energy in the hard soil trying to manifest plant seeds in dirt that is not f fertile. new beginnings this feels like the garden that is flourishing the seed planted wishes dreams hoped for already in manifestation already planted ready to flourish okay the king of cups and the three i feel happiness joy celebration you'll be happy all right and it's this feeling of contentment that i was talking about of waking up early listening to the birds sing this is the peace that I'm feeling with the king of hearts and the three of cups giving thanks it feels like thanksgiving and worship being outside in nature that's what it feels like it feels like earth and love and loyalty and gratitude yes visualizing your future in such a way that you're nourishing it for you know if you're raising a child by focusing on what you don't want the child to become i feel like it is harder to 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 create the vision of what you really want the child to become so if you're focusing more on what you do have 
all the good attributes of that person of that child of your dreams I'm repeating myself but I feel I need to clarify then it comes easier quicker faster so we're talking about manifesting wealth new beginnings businesses new ideas just a lot in your you want to bring into your world but I feel you're resting there's an energy of you that still trapped in everything that happened in the past when your true power is to find peace and happiness within your space in your heart and work on you internally so that you have space to create your vision for your future and nourish it well without bringing in this poison toxins to toxic pesticides and all these things doubts fears past experiences you know it's brand new over here i think i got it all right thank you so much for listening and i'll see you in the next one ken Siren, much love to you take care